Okay, guys. Hey, today I thought I'd bring y'all in and show you what goes on in the frugal fixer shop when he goes into Spike's prospecting mode. Because I have to go into that mode sometimes and build parts for the shelves over there to send off to people for gold prospecting. Because, well, that's the way I make my money to be able to make my guitars and have some fun. So, I built this machine I call the Big Girl. And a thermoforming machine, and it vacuum forms plastic. And watch along, I'll show you exactly how I go about it and all the little details. But power's here, vacuum comes in over here, vacuum control is here. This raises up and down the, watch this, you ready? This raises the mold up and down so you can stretch it and put the plastic in and get ready to make a part. See that? You stretch it up and then turn on the vacuum and it sucks the part down on there. You'll get to see it happen in just a minute. But anyway, that's what Spike does to make a dollar every now and then. So hey, y'all follow along and check it out. It won't be long. I'll make it quick and I'll edit it out all the time. But wait and it takes about eight minutes to make a part on this out of the stick plastic. So hey, watch along, see what I do. And this is the way, you know, some of the other stuff that Crazy Man does. And y'all just enjoy it with me, okay? See you in a bit. Okay. How's everybody doing? Spike here. I'm getting all set up and ready to go here. Let me just go ahead and show you what we're doing. We're going to cut this piece of plastic over here on the table. So I'm just going to mark it right here where I marked it. I'm going to make me a nice straight line. I'm going to spin it around mark the other side. And then I'm going to cut it off with a grinder. Because it's just the quickest, easiest way for me to do it. This is the way Spike does it. Okay, y'all ready? Get it ready, and I'm gonna put a piece of plastic inside of here. So let's look. Okay, see? Okay. Okay. power on which will get the heaters heating up so let's go in here I'll show you what's happening y'all see the heating elements heating up right here and they're heating up this piece of plastic that's down here okay and when it gets hot we're going to stretch it down over this mold and make one of these sluices that I make to sell because I got an order for one and I'm out of them so but that's what me and the big girl as I call her is doing tonight so I'm just going to set y'all back over here where y'all can watch from a distance and don't get bumped in the head or nothing Heat this piece of plastic up to about 275. So we're going to use the old temperature gun right here. Heat the plastic up from the box, check the temperature on the bottom of the plastic. When it gets to 275, 265, somewhere along there, we're going to try to make water. So let me show you something it's doing. Y'all want to see this? Look how that plastic's bowing up. You see how it's bowed up? Now it'll go out and go up toward the heater. And once it gets up there, ways, it'll. Uh, get hot enough that it releases and it'll go whoosh and drop right back down and it'll be hanging under the bottom right here when it does that. But everything on the shelves over there is picked through. I don't pull the plastic down, I push the mold up. So watch close, you get to see how that happens, okay? I want to get this one good and hot so I make sure I get a good tight part. 262, let's make a part. Y'all ready? Keep your eyes on it, it goes fast. We'll turn off the heater. Move the heater back. I'm going to raise the mold up. I'm going to turn on the vacuum and hope it gets the part made. Good enough. Okay, y'all see what happened? That's what come up and that's what it done to that flat piece of plastic when I brought it up through there. Y'all see that? So we'll let that settle a few minutes. And then we'll drop the mold back out of it and take it off. You know, that went pretty well. I hadn't done one of them in a while. So. I hope y'all got a good view of everything that was going on there as I was doing all my controls and stuff. I guess if I'd spent a whole lot of money when I built this, I'd have built it with automatic controls. But when that one comes off, I got one more of those to make for a customer. And then I got something special I'm going to work on that y'all all going to be loving. I'll guarantee you, all, the, all my guitar people are going to love what's going on there next, okay? Yeah. When this, when this batch is over, I promise you're going to like it. Okay, we do this. We turn off the vacuum so it's not trying to suck it on there. So we're going to turn that off now and let it settle. Okay. You hear it creaking? It's when the vacuum turned loose. 
What if I change the light to a different color to cool quicker? Do y'all think that blue light will cool it down any quicker? I don't know. We'll see. 135. I can work with that. Y'all ready? Now, what happens here is I use this control to make that mold drop back out of the top of that plastic. So you ready? Let's see if we can get it to drop. There we go. It's out. Sitting right there. Okay, now, next thing we do is we just climb up on top and open it up. All right. And this is what I do. I make this plastic slip and get it in a box and ship it out of here. I want to thank you all for coming in and joining me here. I'm glad. I hope you got to see what I do in the prospecting side of this business. The orders come in, they had to get the stuff made, so me and the big girl got it knocked out. I should make this smaller. It's kind of big, it takes up a lot of space, but when I was building it, my mind was I was going to make multiple parts at once, but that never happened because it's too much trouble to make more than one at a time. Yeah, sometimes best laid plans just don't work, guys. Darn air compressor raising cane, ain't it? Yeah. It has to fill the tank back up when I get done. But do me a favor, guys. Hey, y'all come back by any time and see what I'm doing. It might be some of this and some of that, but it's going to be a little bit every now and then because i got to make the gold prospecting stuff and keep them happy. And I guess I ought to make some videos to sell some of it, too, because I haven't done that in a while. So, yeah, maybe I ought to break down and do it. Uh, maybe it's time. Hey, y'all guys be good. Remember this, God loves you and so do I. You can't take it with you, so hey, buy some prospecting equipment or, or build you a new guitar or just do something you enjoy or do something else. You know what I'd rather you do? Go help somebody. I don't care who it is and what it is. Just help somebody. I'll be good. We'll see you on the next one. Spike out. Bye.